Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a Leeds Festival prep with me. It's currently Monday the 21st of August and I'm going on Wednesday and I've got quite a bit to do because I'm a girl and I'm a girly girl as well. So, you know, I can't just rock up in my pyjamas. Right now I look very pale and very bare because I'm about to fake tan. Yesterday, I exfoliated my whole entire body. I did my everything shower. I'm gonna use this, which is my St. Moritz mousse. It's currently 11.33. Oh my gosh, why is my voice going? And I've not even got to Leeds yet. Anyway, it's 11.33 and I'm gonna do a transition. I've finished fake tan. Oh my God, it almost just flashed in my boob. It's now 11.42. I've done my whole body, so it literally doesn't take me long, like, at all. I don't think that's very long. Like, some of my friends, it takes them, like, half an hour. But to be fair, it doesn't even feel, like, that sticky, but, like, obviously it's wet, so it does feel sticky. So, what I'm going to do is put a load of talcum powder on. A pretty little thing parcel actually did come, which is part of one of my festival outfits. Look. Okay, we've come shopping now, and I've tried on like, these shoes. I'm going to buy them. I think they're £16. Um, the, oh, the 18 pound. I think they'll be comfy enough. Obviously, I'll be walking all day, so yeah. When I tell you we've hunted high and low for clear ponchos, we literally have. But we finally found some, and they're only £1.50 as well, so I'm really happy. And I've also got a load of other stuff, which I'll give you a haul of when I get home. Hey guys, so I just got home, uh, well, didn't just get home quite clearly, but I got home and I've had a shower and I've washed my hair as well. I can't be able to put on any clothes yet. I'll give you a haul of the things which I bought whilst I was in town. So my Primark bag split and it went everywhere, so my mum put it in her little shopping bag. I did go to Leeds Festival last year, but I only went for the day, I went on a Saturday. Whereas this time I'm going Wednesday to Monday. First of all, I bought some tampons because... I'm actually supposed to, oops, I'm actually supposed to come on my period when I'm at Leeds. If that happens, I'm literally going to be devastated because, like, I'm sorry, in the little, like, portaloo dodgy bad toilets, someone's putting a tampon, like, please. I've also got silver necklaces, which is, like, it actually felt so wrong because I am a gold girl literally for life. That's all gold. That's all gold. Like, it's everywhere and yeah however in one of my outfits um silver jewelry would look better but i didn't own any silver necklaces i don't own a single silver necklace apart from my tiffany one then i bought some of this which is that got to be glued for your brows and your edges never actually tried it but it's raved about i'm now working at waitrose that's my new job and all your nails break because it's just stacking shelves and they'll all just snap off so there's no point in me spending like 35 pound them to just all snap off after a week so i bought some fake sick on nails then i bought some nike socks they are the quarter ones i think that's what they're called the quarter ones the next thing i got was two ponchos and they're clear ones with clear ones you can still see your outfits underneath i think that is actually essential because what's the point in buying cute outfits if you're not even going to be able to see them because it is forecasted to be raining at some points throughout the week next thing i got was some baby wipes by the way i'm going to do a leeds festival vlog if i remember to film much and then the final Final thing I got some boots. So like the fake Doc Martins that everyone kind of wears at festivals. Yeah, I've got these which I'm gonna take obviously, but then also I've got some actual like walking boots, which like a good brand that will actually like keep my feet warm and not feel like I'm walking on the floor. If you get me, like the be squishy i'll update you when i'm doing something next but i'm now just going to dry my hair and straighten it i'm now going to do my hair for leeds festival my sister's doing it for me and she's going to greece tonight i ordered this hair online and it's this color which i think i don't know if my hair's a bit lighter but it will just look like highlights if it is you just like plait it into your own hair i would just do normal french plaits in my hair or dutch plaits however my hair it's not like short short but it, like it's not long and i think because my hair isn't long where do you like plaits it kind of makes it like a baby like a little child rather than if my hair was like really long then it would look nice and this is really long i decided on doing this with my hair because as i'm literally going to be there for a week basically there's no showers my hair will be greasy by then and i know you can use dry shampoo but like what about styling it? You don't have any plugs, you don't have straighteners, hair colours, like, what would I actually do? This is my hair right now, and I'm going to do a transition. <laughs> this is my hair. Gosh, my mirror looks so dusty. <laughs> um, yeah, my sister, this is her second time ever doing it, and then, do you know what? It was very tricky. I was watching, and she was getting really stressed and really mad, but she pushed through and i actually i really like it this is what the back looks like as well look at my desk though that is obscene obscene absurd i don't know looks like a sheep has been shredded i'm now gonna do my nails i was gonna do them 
the day before I go, so tomorrow. But you know what? Like, I just want to do it now. Okay, I've now done my nails. They look like this. They look like this. They do look nice. Like, they're not, like, my favourite nails ever, but obviously. But, like, they're nails. And I'd rather have them than not have them. And, yeah. And also, because of the colour, like, I could have gone for, like, an extravagant colour, but because of the colour, they will match all my outfits. So, for my eyebrows, I'm going to pluck them, and I'm going to tint them, and that's... <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh, my word. I didn't put the lid on on my nail glue and it just tipped over but thankfully only a tiny bit came out so looking really invisible I just watched a TikTok saying this is your sign to charge your power banks now and oh my word that is literally so true because I have four power banks and they won't all charge in one night because I only have two plugs and therefore I need to start charging them so yeah remember to charge your power bank. Okay it's now a new day and I'm vlogging on my phone because I forgot my camera but my mum literally just reminded me to vlog um, but I'm about to go and get my lashes lifted so uh, this is what they look like now. Not very lifted, they're long but they're just like straight. Okay, so I'll show you what it like afterwards, but yeah, let's do a transition. I'm getting a lash lift and tint. Three, two, one. My lashes have now been done. Um, they're not like, so they've lifted really well, but my natural eyelashes are quite thin, just like my eyebrows are quite thin and my hair is quite thin. Um, therefore, like they don't look like really full, but once I put mascara on them, then they look full, but like they've actually lifted really well. Like, look, you can see they've lifted good. But I can't get them wet for 24 hours. It's obviously the next day, and that means I'm going to Leeds tomorrow. I know, crazy. When you're watching this, I will be at Leeds Festival as well. I really like my hair, though, I've decided. Like, I think it looks really cute. You know? Um, but yeah, I'm now going to film a YouTube video because I need to do that before I go to Leeds tomorrow, so... Yeah, it's a fashion overhaul, so you can see that on my channel soon. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, guys, I am in a predicament, like a massive one. So I just filmed a haul for Fashion Nova, and oh, <laughs> their clothes are like too good, to the point where like, I'm not even joking. So I had my outfits for the festival, like pretty much planned, but now, a load of those clothes which I've just done a haul of, like, I think I'd rather wear. Like, I'd love to wear to the festival. However, my predicament is, right, it's stressing me out because I don't know what to bring now at all because, so the clothes which I already planned on bringing, I bought for the festival and, like, loads of them. I can't return them now because it's been too long since I bought them, so I won't be able to return them. But they're also, like, the type of clothes that you're only ever going to wear at a festival. But now, I'd rather wear the new clothes, which I've been gifted, but I don't know what to do. Because if I wear the gifted ones, then I've literally just wasted my money on the clothes which I bought myself. But if I wear the clothes which I bought myself, then all I'm going to be thinking about is the gifted clothes, which I'd rather wear. Literally, first world problems. I literally have got gifted clothes and I'm making it as though it's a problem. It's not. It, like, I'm so, so, so thankful for all these clothes which have now been gifted. But... It's just made my life difficult because they're too good and now I don't know what to do. If you know me well, you know I am the most indecisive person I've ever met. I'm going to try and decide now what I'm going to wear and I'll update you. Ah, I can't decide. I've willowed it, willowed it down? Narrowed it down. Oh, I don't know what I'm on about, bro. Um, narrowed it down to five items. I mean, blah, 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 blah. I've narrowed it down to five outfits, but I'm supposed to have four, so I'm stressed. I'll just show you them all. This is the first one. Then this one, which is like, it's a denim skirt, this cool jacket with a black bikini top. This one, which isn't like my favourite, but I bought this one out of my own money, so therefore that's why I'm like, oh, I kind of do want to take it. But also, like, I do really like it, and like, it is really cute. And then this one, which I actually really like, so it goes like the boots... I and mean, like everything just goes oh and this one as well which that is probably my favorite outfit i've got five but yeah i might just honestly take all of them but then like i'm gonna be packing a lot so i'm not really sure Ugh. 
being a girl is hard honestly um anyway i'm gonna actually gel my hair again i did gel my front pieces back oh, i'm not gonna gel my ends of my hair again because i can already see flyaways not on top of my head i'm on about like these bits of my head um but yeah i don't want to like gel them too much to the point where like they feel plastic but also like i don't want bits to be coming out so i'm in another predicament i hope i'm saying that word right because i've said it quite a lot in this video hair is now gelled i'm actually quite surprised i've not had a headache with it yet last night all my days when i tell you i had the biggest headache from my hair because it's like slicked back on my head and like even just wearing a slick back ponytail for a day that gives me a headache so i was like really worried i'm gonna have a headache for five days but today i've been okay so i think my head's just got used to it <laughs> update over um, i put a dressing gown on because it was cold but now i'm gonna do my toes i actually always have a pedicure on literally always because basically i do gel nails on my toes and it lasts like well over a month i can't lie so therefore literally as soon as it comes off then I just redo it again because that's like what only 12 times a year like it's not that difficult to keep up and maintain um but I have just taken off all of it just then just so I can do it fresh for leads I'll show you all the products which I use um so I have got questions in the past here. this is the lamp which I use it looks a bit dirty but it's just one by this brand my top coat and base coat is both by Madame Glam and I have loads of different like nail varnishes from different brands but I'm going to do white so this is one which I'm going to use from Beatles this is what I use to make sure it's not sticky in my opinion it's so simple and so easy so and literally if you went to a salon it would be like what 20 pound 30 pound but i do it at home for well she well literally free it's now 20 to 9 i'm currently packing i'm just literally taking everything in bin bag for reference if you want to see what i'm packing then pause the video and look at this list i'll probably end up packing a few other random things but that's basically what i'm packing this is just to show you what food i'm taking um yeah i've got quite a wide range I've not finished packing yet, but that is the end of today's video because there's nothing else I can really show you. I've shown you my list of what I'm packing and I've just got to basically pack it. Um, I've got no makeup on or anything now, so I'm literally ready to get to go to bed right now. And I, I'm going to have a bit of an early night, but I want to edit this video first and try and get it up for this Saturday so you'll be watching it when I'm at Leeds Festival. But I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'll try. Please remember to like and subscribe as it really helps my channel grow. And I'll see you guys in my brand new video next Saturday at 6pm. Bye!